Hi everyone, it's Kino here. Welcome to day 22 of this 30 days of yoga for complete beginners. I hope you're feeling the inspiration to practice and I hope you're feeling that good vibration that yoga brings into your heart and mind. Let's get ready for practice. So come to a comfortable seated position. Bring your hands together. Sound on. Long deep inhale. As you exhale, rest your hands down to any comfortable position. Tune into the quality of your breath. Notice your breath. Tune into the sensations in your body. Notice how your body feels. Tune into the quality of your mind and your emotions. Just notice whatever disturbances there might be in your mind and your heart, just be aware. And then allow yourself to move into the space of equanimity, the space of non-judgment, a pure observation, so that you can begin to observe breath as breath, body as body, mind as mind, with no judgment, just the feeling of what is. And then a nice long deep inhale, as you exhale, softly open the eyes, now, let's begin with some gentle movements. Inhale, lift the spine up out of the pelvis. Exhale, let's do an easy twist over to the right side. And we'll just stay here for a few breaths. Drawing the navel in, let your spine gently begin to be mobilized. Keep the breath long and deep and start to draw the navel in. All right, come on back into the center. Exhale there, we're gonna go over to the other side. So inhale, lift the spine, deep breath, exhale, easy twist, over to the left, don't overdo it, so this is just a nice movement to bring mobilization in the spine, activation through the pelvic floor, keep it nice and easy, inhale, back to the center, that's good, now let's add in a little bit of a side lean, inhale again, and then exhale, lean over to the sides, extend the left arm, and give me a big reach. And just gently explore how much over to the side your body wants you to do today. Keep it nice and easy. Deep breaths, really lift from the spine. Good, inhale. Come on back into the center. Now let's pop on over to the other side. Exhale, gently lean over. And then big reach over. Feel the spine lifting up out of the torso, nice and easy, keep breathing. Almost there, let this lateral stretch start to bring length and spaciousness through the spine. And inhale, back to the center. Exhale, shake that out for a moment. Now, let's pop on a run to the hands and knees. So, coming up runs here, hands and knees. Stay there for a moment, get comfortable in your tabletop position. Hold it there, nice and easy. Keep the mind calm. Just gonna tie a little knot in my shirt and realize how long it was. <laughs> no. Okay. Great. Then, holding here in the tabletop position. Now, let's go through cat and cow. Inhale, extend your spine, long deep breath in. Exhale, round the back, tuck under. Inhale, extend, long deep breath in. Exhale, round and under. Two more. Inhale, long deep breath in. Exhale, it's round all the way under. Last one. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round and under. Good job. Draw the knees towards each other. Exhale, child's pose for a few breaths. Keep it nice and easy. Steady breaths. 
Long deep breath in, long deep breath out. Very good. Now, let's slowly come up out of child's pose. Walking your hands forward, open the knees. Now we prepare for puppy pose, so warm the shoulders up. We'll slide the hands forward as the, as the hips open a little bit. And exhale, top of the head, top of the forehead reaches towards the ground. Gently come up onto your fingertips. This is good, we'll stay for five breaths. One, rolling through the shoulders, keeping it open, the hips back and up. Two, explore the depth and the length of your spine. Three, almost there, keep breathing. Four, and five. Take the hands flat, let's come forward onto the stomach in Cobra Pose. Again, just a nice easy warm up for the spine. Roll the elbows down and inhale, lift the chest. One, feel the spine lifting up out of the pelvis. Two, three, keep it nice and easy, steady breathing. Four, don't overdo it. Let the breath and body come into unity. Keep the navel in, spine lifting up out of the pelvis. Five, curl your toes under and let's walk the hands back through tabletop. And then inhale all the way up to downward facing dog. All right, in our downward dog, we'll stay here for a moment, roll the shoulders open. You can bend the knees, press into the heels for a moment. Five deep breaths. One. Nice and easy. Two. Rolling the shoulders open. Three. Stay with your breath. Four. Keep drawing the navel more and more in. Stay with it, deep breathing. Five, okay, let's switch the gaze forward. Walk the feet all the way forward. Lift your chest, deep breath. Exhale, fold forward, go down. Inhale, let's stand up, raise your arms. And exhale, hands by your side. All right, now let's prepare for Surya Namaskar A, or Sun Salutation A. So we take a moment. Find the breath, find the pelvic floor, connect in, hands by your side. Now we begin. Inhale, raise your arms, deep breath in. Exhale, pivot from the hip joints as you fold forward, go down. Inhale, long deep breath in, lift the chest. Exhale, come on back to plank, find your plank for a moment and now easy chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, roll the shoulders back, straighten the arms, lift the chest. Exhale, downward facing, send the hips back and up. Very good, stay with it for five breaths. One, steady breathing, keep the shoulders rolling open. Two, steady breaths. Three, Nice and easy. Four, almost there. Stay with the breath. Five, switch the gaze forward. Inhale, gently walk your feet forward between the hands. Send the chest forward, deep breath. Exhale, fold, come down. Inhale, stand up. Raise your hands, reach. Back to standing, hands by your side. Good. Let's do it again. Inhale, raise your arms. Exhale, fold forward. Go down. Inhale, long deep breath in. Exhale, come on back through plank, down to chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Long deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing. Now we say again, five breaths. Connect your breath and your body. One, open through the shoulders. Draw the navel in. Two, steady breathing. Three, shoulders stay really rolled open, nice and easy. Four, almost there, keep breathing. Five, 
five. Let's look forward. Inhale, walk your feet between the hands. Long, deep breath in. Exhale, fold forward. Go down, draw the navel in. Inhale, stand up. Raise your arms. Someone stick the heat. Back to stand. Good job. One more. Last one. Inhale. Raise your arms. Exhale. Fold forward at the hip joints. So go down. Relax the neck. Inhale. Long deep breath in. Exhale. Come on back through plank. Down to chaturanga. Inhale. Upward facing. Exhale, come on back to downward facing. Keep the shoulders rolled open, deep breaths. One. Nice and easy. Two, steady breathing. Three. Switch the gaze forward and inhale. Come on forward. Long deep breath in. Exhale, fold. Drop the head down. Inhale, let's stand up. All the way up. Still must be the heat. Back to standing. All right, now we're going to move your feet to hips width apart. We're going to go for a forward fold. So we're going to do it nice and easy. First, I want you to bend your knees and the hip joints. So you can keep the chest onto the thighs. Then hanging forward fold, dangle your arms down, and then inhale, straighten the legs. So we take a few moments just to release the spine, not holding on to anything. Just gently sway from side to side, keeping the feet hips width apart. And just relax, release the body, no force. Just the breath, nice and easy. Steady breathing, keep it quiet and calm. Okay, let's bend the knees, hold on to the big toes. Inhale now, find your shasana. Straighten the arms, deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Five more breaths. One, steady breathing. Two, Keep the navel drawn deeply in. Three, relax the back. Four, almost there. Five, inhale, let's lift the head up. Take your fingertips on the ground. Now, walk your feet in so that the feet are as close together as possible. Squeeze the knees in towards each other. Activate your thigh muscles. And inhale, Utkatasana, the chair pose. We can keep the gaze forward or look up at the hands. Up to you. One, draw the navel in, keep breathing, looking really good, stay with it, just keep sinking down. Three, nice and easy, stay with your breath, keep the mind calm, deep breathing, really use the legs, almost there. Stay with the breath, exhale, fold forward, go down. Inhale, send the chest forward, walk your hands forward. Let's step on back through plank, find your plank, and now, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, long, deep breath in. Exhale, roll over the toes, downward facing. We're going to step forward to crescent lunge or Anjanayasana. Inhale, step your right foot forward, coming up onto your fingertips. Exhale, left knee down. All right, let's have a little fun with our Anjanayasana today. So as you draw the navel in, take your hands to your waist. And now let's see if we can activate our crescent lunge a little bit. So this is going to make your thighs burn. Don't be mad. <laughs> Enjoy the challenge. Okay, activate pelvic floor. Are you ready? Inhale, left leg off the ground. Good. Exhale, set it down. Give me a couple more. Inhale, come up. Exhale, come on back down. Okay, a few more. Inhale, take it up. Straighten that left leg. Exhale, set it down. Now again, inhale, pick it up. Hold it. Exhale, put it down. Last one. Inhale, pick it up. Hold it. Now, inhale, lift the arms up. Keep that right leg burning, burning. Enjoy it. Open your arms in. Easy twist. Don't overdo it. Twist the spine. Just look over to the right side. Hold it. 
hold it, back to the center, exhale, sink that left knee down, point the left toes, interlock your fingers behind you, and inhale, lift the chest up, one, expanding the back muscles, lifting the chest, two, keep it nice and easy, three, don't overdo it, feel what you feel, and keep space between the spine, relaxing the neck, four, almost there, Five, good job. Okay, let's take those hands down. Come on back to plank. Inhale, plank. Exhale, nice and easy, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, long, deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing. Let me try the other side. Inhale, left foot forward. Coming up onto your fingertips. Exhale, right knee down. All right, how you doing? Ready for the other thigh to burn? <laughs> Come on up. Hands to your waist. Are you ready? Have fun with it. Okay. Inhale. Right leg straight. Find your balance. Exhale down. Good. Again. Inhale. Pick it up. Exhale. Set it down. Give me three more. Inhale. Pick it up. Exhale. Set it down. Again. Inhale. Pick it up. Exhale. Set it down. Two more. Inhale. Pick it up. Good. Exhale, set it down. Uh-huh, last one. Inhale, pick it up, hold it. Now, arms open. Lift it up and twist it out to the side. Easy does it. Look gently to the left. Maintain your balance. Enjoy the moment. Stay there, breathing, feeling. Almost there, stay with it. Good, back to the center. Exhale, rainy down, point. Interlock your fingers and inhale, lift the chest up. Mm -hmm. Release that right psoas muscle. Release the front of the right hip. Stay with it. Deep breathing. One. Two. As your spine lengthens, energy returns to the body. So just enjoy it here. Four. Stay with it. Keep breathing. Almost there. Five. Good job. Inhale. Lift the spine. Exhale. Hands down. Inhale, come on back to plank. Find your plank. And exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, long deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing. Come on back. We're going to step forward to warrior one, right side. Turn left foot out. Inhale, right foot forward. Take a moment and sink down. Then, inhale, raise the arms. Arms can be straight ahead or Gaze up at the thumbs and hands together. You decide. We got five breaths here, so enjoy it. One, how you doing? Good, looking good. Two, lift the spine up. Three, nice and easy. Four, almost there. Stay with it. Good job. Drop your left hand down. Now, slide the left hand behind you. We begin to go for reverse warrior. You can leave the hand on the outer edge of the left thigh or take the hand all the way over to the right thigh. Now reach. Let's stay for five breaths. One. Two. Enjoy it. Find your thighs burning and enjoy it. Three. Sink into it. Four. Almost there. Five. Okay. Exhale. Take the hands down. Inhale. Back to plank. Exhale. Chaturanga. Inhale. Upward facing. Long deep breath in. Exhale. Downward facing. Okay. Let's pop it on over to the other side. That left side. Warrior one. Turn the right foot out. Inhale. Left side forward. Sink down into the legs. Now inhale. Warrior one. Arms up. One, your gaze can be ahead or the palms together. Let your body decide what's right for today. Two, three, stay with your breath, keep working. Four, five, now slide your right hand down. You can just rest on the inside edge of the right thigh or slide all the way over, but remember no force. If there's any kind of forceful effort with that, just leave the hand out. Works just as well. Inhale, reach. Find what works for your body. Two, gentle gaze, slightly up. Three, reach, reach, reach. Four, almost there. Five, good job. 
Take the hands forward. Come on back to plank. Inhale, plank. Enjoy it. Stabilize in your plank pose. Knees down, chaturanga, or full chaturanga, up to you. Inhale, upward facing, long, deep breath in. Exhale, come on back, downward facing. Switch your gaze forward, inhale, come on forward. Lift your chest, long, deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Come on back to standing, hands by your side. Now, we're gonna go for the balancing poses. Or at least one balancing pose. I mean, not all the balancing poses and all of the yoga practice. Let's do a tree pose, all right? Externally rotate your right hip joint. So find that external rotation in the right hip joint. And you could use your kickstand if you want to keep those big toes on the ground and hands in prayer. Or you can slide the foot up to the inner thigh or the calf muscle. Or you can slide the foot all the way up to the inner thigh and hands in prayer. Find what works for today. One. Let's go for five breaths. Work your tree. Two. Draw the navel in. Keep it nice and easy. Three. Four. Five. Let's grow the tree. Inhale. Lift the arms. One. Enjoy it. Draw the navel in. Lift up through the center line. Two. Steady breathing. Three. Draw the navel more and more in. Four, keep breathing, we're almost there. Five, hands back to prayer position. Exhale, back to standing. Good, okay, let's switch the sides. Find that external rotation of the left side. So you can start off with the kickstand, toes on the ground, hands in prayer. So this is gonna be the easier option. You're welcome to stay here or slide it up onto the calf muscle. Just don't place the foot against the knee or you may destabilize your standing leg. If it's comfortable for you, you slide it all the way on up and hands in prayer. Good, five breaths, one. Take a single point, and if you fall, it's okay. Just stay with it. Two, nice and easy. Three, keep breathing, keep working. Four, almost there. Five, all right, let's grow the tree. Inhale, extend. One, deep breaths. Keep breathing, two, nice and easy. Three, stay with the breath. Four, almost there, five, hands back together and back to standing. Good job. Come on back to the front of the mat. Long deep breath in as the arms raise above your head. Exhale, fold forward, pivot at the hip joints, go down. Inhale, long deep breath in. Exhale, come on back down, find your play and Chaturanga, lie down. So lie all the way down. Point the toes. Come up onto the elbows, back to cobra. Inhale, lift the center of the chest up. Now, we'll do some back bending. So, the most accessible therapeutic back bend exists is Shalabhasana. So let's start there. Come up onto your fingertips. Inhale, lift the ribs, placing the ribs down and make sure that it's comfortable for you. Then lift the legs up, hands back behind you. Open your fingers and then place all the tips of the nails on the ground. I mean, it depends on how long your nails are. So somewhere around the nails, go on the ground. One, face of the nose. Two, three. Try not to over-squeeze the glutes. Four, five. Now try a different position. Reach your hands back behind you. If you can't interlock the fingers, please grab a strap or interlock your fingers and inhale, lift it up. One, shoulder roll forward, two, keep breathing, three, almost there, don't you give up, four, and five, exhale, relax, shake it out, shake out the butt muscles, shake out the spine, hands forward, inhale, upward facing, give me a long, deep breath in, exhale, push it on back, downward facing, now let's come down again. Press up into your shoulders, knees down, and chaturanga, chest down. Now come up onto the elbows again. Let's take a moment and build up to Dhanurasana, the bow pose. Bow pose is a relatively accessible back bend. So let's see how it feels. Bend your knees and just explore that. Open the feet a little bit so it'll make it easier for you to hold onto your ankles. 
Stay there for a moment and let's just explore. Now, pressing into your right elbow. Inhale, lift, reach back, and see if you can hold onto one of your ankles. We get like half Banyarasana here. Great. Try the other side. Come on up, lean it around to the back, hold onto the ankle, give it a little kick back. Great. Now, we're going to do both. We do both. You have the option to keep your feet a little bit apart, but if you find, oh, I feel so flexible, you can bring your feet and your knees a little closer together, but find what works for your body. Okay, so here we go. Inhale, lift the center of the chest up, reaching the hands back. If you can do both at the same time, great. If not, you're gonna do one by one. Then, holding firmly onto your ankles or wherever you can grab. So if you can only grab your feet, you can hold those too, okay? Take a firm grab. Now, inhale, send the legs back first. So you can begin to activate the legs. Roll the shoulders a little forward. Keep your gaze down so you don't leave with your neck. Now let's get ready for Dandarasana. Inhale, lift it up. One. Good job. Two. Press through the legs. Three. You got it, keep working. It doesn't matter what depth you reach, just work. Four, almost there. Five, good job, okay, relax. Don't worry if you didn't get as deeply as I did. No problem, just find your version of the asana. All right, and now upward facing. Long, deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing. Now, come down onto the knees. Kneel down for a moment. Keep your breath calm, hands on the inner thighs. Long deep breath in, long deep breath out. Stay for a moment, notice how back bending sometimes brings up heightened emotionality. Try to enjoy that rather than resist it. Okay, now let's prepare for Ustrasana position, the camel pose. Come up onto your knees, keep it nice and easy here. Okay, knees want to be about hips width apart. If you feel a little stiffer, you can ride the outer edges of your hips. If you feel more flexible, you can bring the knees more narrow. But a little space between the knees is going to make the posture just a little more accessible. Okay, so let's prepare. Camel pose. Draw the navel in. Don't be in a rush to bend backwards. Hold on to the rib cage. And then find the connection to, and then lift the rib cage. Stay here for a moment, deep breaths. Stay here for a moment, deep breaths. Good, dangle your arms behind you. Now, interlock your fingers, push into the knees, and inhale, pelvis forward, hips up and forward. Good, we'll stay five breaths. No need to drop the neck back, just try to get the length and the spaciousness. One, two, keep breathing, three, Almost there, four, don't give up, stay with it, five, inhale, come up, relax your arms, exhale, slowly down. Now let's grab the blocks, if you want to, it makes it more accessible with the blocks. If you're comfortable with Dushrasana without the blocks, then you don't need the blocks, but we'll try, just for accessibility, to stack the blocks up next to the feet. Again, you don't need the blocks if you feel that you don't, but they're very nice. I feel this is a really nice version of the camel pose on the blocks. You can play around with the height of the blocks, but if you're using the blocks, make sure that they're stacked so it's a little higher than your feet. Now we're going to take the hands to the blocks. So just kind of reach back and make sure that it's kind of relatively easy for you to touch the block. All right, then we're going to go from stress in a position. If it ever gets too intense for you, just go back to interlocking the fingers and lifting the chest. You want to find the version of the asana that's appropriate for your body today. It might be different every day. Okay, no more delays with the camel pose. Inhale, long deep breath in. Lift the spine up out of the pelvis, dangle your arms. Then find the blocks, press the chest even more forward, stand your fingertips for a moment, and then only when it's comfortable for you, Flatten the hand down as you roll the shoulders forward and drop your neck back. Now, let's stay for five breaths. Don't give all your weight into your hands. Keep energy in the legs and energy in the spine. And keep trying to lift up out of the pelvis. One, enjoy it, breathe with it. 
two, lift it more and more up, three, four, we're almost there, good, press up onto your fingertips, engage your back muscles, inhale, come up, good job, drop those knees together, move your blocks on over to the side, and exhale, child's pose, top of the head down, rest for a few breaths, long deep breath in, long deep breath out, keeping the mind quiet and calm, slowly as you inhale, lift the head up and exhale, let's take the hands down, slowly walk it back to plank pose, hold your plank for a moment, exhale, come on all the way down. Inhale, upward facing, long deep breath in. Exhale, come on back to downward facing. Walk it forward and exhale, slowly roll your spine gently down. Now, fold the legs up, Vipruta Karani. Keep the mind quiet and calm, relaxing, calming the nervous system integrating the deep work of the practice. Keep it nice and easy, steady breaths, quiet the mind. Nice and easy, no fight, no force, all is well. Slowly bend the knees, exhale, drop the knees down. Fold your right knee over the left and exhale, both knees over to the right side. Hold it in for a moment. Relax the spine, relax the hips. Almost there. Inhale, back to the center, let's switch. Left leg comes up, squeeze the knees in. Exhale, both knees over to the left. Nice and easy, steady breathing. Good. Come on back into the center and uncross the legs. Exhale, lie down. Keep the mind quiet and calm, no rest. Feel your heart center expansive from that back bending work. Feel the emotions that bubble up to the surface. Feel the breath and the body. Everything gently moving into harmony. Nice and easy. Let yourself rest. And after a few moments of rest, let's move the fingers, toes, hands and feet, bend the knees and the elbows, and squeeze yourself in. Thank your body for going on this whole journey of practice. Roll on over to the side. Come on back up to a comfortable seated position. Eyes closed, attention at the heart center. for joining me on this practice. May you be happy, may you be peaceful, may you be filled with love. Namaste.